Hi guys, uh, William here from the Adelaide Hill Pain Clinic. Um, now we're here just to talk about um, uh, 40 year old runners, people who are over 40, and I guess some of the things, challenges that they experience and some of the adaptations, changes that their body goes through and what we need, what we need to do to adapt to running. So I've got John. John, again. Okay. And Josh. To uh, talk about this. So um, we'll start off with Josh. Yeah. So I guess the, the first thing we want to talk about is, I guess, on the opposite thing to what I guess popular opinion is, running as you get older beyond the age of 40 isn't, I guess, a risk factor of things like osteoarthritis. It's actually been found in a lot of studies to actually have a protective effect against things like hip and knee osteoarthritis. So kind of that mindset that it's, you know, running has caused me to damage my knees really isn't true as well. Um, what is important to understand though is, you know, as we get older, there is a bit of an inevitable and avoid, an unavoidable kind of De, uh, decrease in our physiological capacity so things like our aerobic capacity and the you know, efficiency of our cardiovascular system decreases and what that means is as we get older our ability to be able to run at the same speed for the same amount of time does decrease so you know as, yes we can still run but we may need to take into uh, consideration our ability to do what we did you know 20 years ago maybe not as much so we have to just back off a little bit and I suppose from my side of things, um, maybe just, it's not more so negative, it's more so just things to be mindful of, I suppose, as we age. Um, it is quite inevitable as we do get older, um, the stiffness in our Achilles tendon and just our legs in general sort of reduces. And what that means is that um, running, we're basically when you run, you have to put more force through the foot, and that means we're placing more strain on the Achilles tendon, just in short. Um, number two is being mindful of running on softer surfaces, things like sand. Um, it's actually su suggested that running on softer surfaces such as sand actually increases the risk of tendinopathy tenfold. Um, an analogy I like to use is like a bouncy ball. I remember in school, we had, you know, the bouncy balls you used to stand around in a circle and just bounce them as hard as you could. And um, whoever bounced the highest is basically the winner. Now that's no different from a foot. If you bounce a bouncy ball on a hard surface, often it will go straight to the roof. If you bounce it on something softer like carpet or grass, it won't bounce as high because the ball would have to do more work. And that's no different um, with sand. Uh, you may be aware of, you know, if you're a sprinter, you run on a hard track, you can run quite quickly. You know, sprinters are running sub 10 seconds these days. If you try to do that on sand, it'd often be a little bit more difficult because the foot will fatigue a lot quicker. You have to put more force through the foot. Um, the final thing is certain types of medications may actually predispose you um, to tendinopathies. These can be, uh, for example, fluoroquinolones, which are an antibiotic, as well as statins, which are cholesterol-lowering drugs. So, um, yeah, they're just some things to be mindful of, but the main consensus we're coming together with is saying that run, um, do what you need to yeah. do. I like to tell patients just saying that the only movement you shouldn't do is a movement you don't want to do. Um, so really, if you want to run, if you want to jump, go for it. Um, we just got to bear in mind our body limits. It may be a case that we need to do some strengthening exercises to build up our body's tolerance to some of those higher impact movements. But, you know, other than that, play ball. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so the, the take home message is in, in the long run, it's actually uh, really good for you. Um, running so just uh, keep it up just um, just ensure that you're just aware of these little things and you either condition your body or adapt to the situation um, Josh you did track didn't you did you ever run under 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> I stopped when I was 15 I got I got nearly I got like low 11s but never in the 10s I never was uh, uh, under 10s so <laughs> No, John, not John, John might have. <laughs> no, I got 11 and a half of ink and I yeah, okay. on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we don't need to make quite a good uh, 4 by 100. We just need one. We're getting the awesome That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We will see you next week with another chat about heel pain. Bye.